Okay, so what we've got here is an old microwave. I paid five pounds for this from uh, a scrapman. And these old microwaves are just absolutely full of parts. Um, you've got motors in there and a really big transformer. There's a high voltage capacitor in there and uh, a high voltage diode, some circuit boards, a ton of micro switches, all kinds of things. So they're really worth pulling to pieces to salvage the parts from them. Now, they don't like you getting into these things, so very often they put torque screws on there. And there's a good reason that this is high voltage and um, the capacitor in there can store charge for a long time even if it's been unplugged. So you have to be particularly careful when dealing with the capacitor. We're going to um, try and discharge it and see if it actually has any charge in there. And that's simple enough. You just take a high voltage screwdriver, this one's rated to 10,000 volts, and just touch it across the terminals. If there's anything in there, it's going to spark and bang. It's a big old spark and bang, so be prepared for it. But it can't hurt you, and, and it discharges it, and um, it's quite safe after that. So, in order to get into these things, they're just a U-shaped piece of pressed steel normally held together by um, self-tapping screws. Sometimes there's a whole load of them, sometimes there's not very much of many of them. This particular microwave is a Sint Basic 17.5 litre, I think. So just undo the self-tappers, and you should find that the top case comes off relatively easily. We'll soon find out when we plug it. Okay, there's a couple of screws in there still. So I'm not going to see if that does anything. There you go. That's the top case. And if we have a look in there, we can see some of the nice little parts that we've got available to us. Um, I don't know how well you can see that, but there's the high voltage capacitor there. That's a magnetron. Uh, you can see a shaded pole motor there, which is one of the things that I definitely want. There's the uh, transformer there, big old beast, fuse there, you've got some nice high voltage um, cable here with connectors that we'll use, uh, 7 watt 9.1 kilojoules resistor on that board which we can use. So there's some really nice bits and pieces in there and I'm just going to pull it to pieces and take these things out. The um, transformers held on at the bottom here again with some self tappers let's have a look at that pull that out it can be a bit stiff there you go pull that out reach across there with that and we're getting nothing so it's no no charge in it at all there's the high voltage diode sitting right there now these things the high voltage diode if you have a look on the web they're about 10 to 15 pounds each um, the motors here, this shaded pole motor that we've got sitting in here, that's a fair old price too. That was about £15 to buy a replacement motor for that. So in the end of the day, you're probably going to get about £50 or £60 worth of parts from this. So there's the high voltage capacitor out and the high voltage diode. There you go. So what I'm going to do is disassemble the rest of these bits and pieces and, and just look to see where the screws are. They're usually pretty obvious. Uh, undo them and start pulling your bits out. We'll have a look at some of the bits once I've recovered a few of them. So here's the bits that we salvaged. We've got a microwave oven transformer. If you do a quick eBay search, you'll find they're asking about 15 to 20 pounds for that. We've got a high voltage capacitor, it's another five pounds. We've got the shaded pole motor, in there between 10 and 15 pounds. The high voltage diode, it's another five pounds. These are synchronous uh, turntable motors and they're asking three pounds for those and there's two of those. A um, couple of ring magnets, I didn't want the magnetron so I pulled the ceramic ring magnets out of it and they're three pounds each for those. They're two inch ring magnets, very useful. The three micro switches, a couple of quid each for them. And I actually bothered to save these which are the um, self tapping screws. There's about ten of them there and there's about a pound there. So you're easily talking about, what did we say? Uh, 20, 25, 35, 40, 40, yeah, easily 50 quid's worth of gear there. Um, I'm really interested in this bit, which is what I'm going to use for one of the projects um, that's up and coming. And the good thing about these things is um, this. This coil of wire is just wound on, and there's a, a lot of it. So even just the coil of wire there is worth about three to five pounds. So all in all, 
money well spent. And if you fancy pulling a part of microwave, knock yourself out. It's pretty easy and you get some really good bits out of it.